guys. Now, I'm looking for someone in this studio audience. So let's come up this side, first of all. Um, it's not you. Um, it's not you, because it's you, Mervyn Wright. Oh, yes. Hi. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Come and join me down here and bring your daughter with you. Thank you. Thank you. Surprise, surprise. So lovely to have you here. Now, Thank we you. know your father and daughter. Let's find out a little bit more about you. Tell me where you're from. We're from Weymouth and Dorset. Do you have any other children, Mervyn? I've got uh, two sons. Any grandchildren? Four grandchildren and one on the way. Best oh, things in the world. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, Vicky, you're the reason why your dad's here tonight. Yes. Um, tell me why you got in touch. Well, my dad was in the Royal Tank Regiment and the army has always had a special place in his heart. Generations of family have been in the military and so it's always been a big part of our lives. So, Mervyn, when you first joined the army, how old were you? I was about 16, 16 and a half. Were you really? Yeah, yeah. You must have made lots of friends at that time. Hundreds. More than friends. Like friends for life, yeah, yeah. Well, they are a family, mm. yes. And I imagine that time in your life was incredibly important to you. Immensely important, because as, as Vicky said, my, my father and my grandfather, they were both in the army. Uh, my dad was a chindi, he served in Burma, and he was so proud of what he did. Yeah. And I was so proud of him, and I just wanted to show him how I could do it. Yeah. And that you did. Your family are incredibly proud of you, but your army comrades are very proud of you as well. Have a look at this. Thank you. The army always has been important to my dad because his father, grandfather, great-grandfather, they were all in the army. It's in his blood. It's just come very naturally to him. He was 16 when he joined the 2nd Royal Tank Regiment. He's always been interested in driving, so why not start off by driving the tank? <laughs> I served with Merv from 1973 to 1979 in the 2nd Royal Tank Regiment. We knew him as Lefty because of his name being right, we called him Lefty. Absolutely brilliant bloke, damn good worker on the tanks. He was just an all round good guy. Lefty was chat the lad, you know, always had this distinctive laugh that you knew Lefty was about. He was a very good egg. He's a very memorable guy to me. Very, very kind, very considerate, a good role model. When you've got someone that you would lay down your life for, and you know for a fact that they would lay down their life for you, it breeds this camaraderie and it remains all your life. In 1975, when my dad was stationed in Northern Ireland with the Royal Tank Regiment, they were called out to help the search for a 22-month-old boy who had gone missing from his home. His troop was scrambled out and he actually went a different way to everyone else and went through this peat bog. Lefty walked into the bog and found the child very cold and going down with hypothermia. And pulled the kiddie out of danger, which is not a surprise with Lefty being Lefty, that's the sort of guy he is. He put his life on the line, uh, it could have been him that would have sunk in the bog. And some of those peak bogs, you go down, you don't come back for about 50 years. What a guy, what a guy. Because my dad was stationed in Northern Ireland with the Royal Tank Regiment, he was awarded the General Service Medal. It was the highlight of his career. But a couple of years after he left the army, the medal, got stolen and he was devastated. He was absolutely devastated. You know, well, oh. To have your medal stolen is like being stabbed in the heart. Losing a medal, my goodness, that's heartbreaking. Dad keeps in touch with some of the regiment on social networking sites, but he won't attend the reunions because he's too ashamed that he hasn't got his medal. He's embarrassed. Such a shame. Love to see the guy, really love to see him. If he comes to one of the reunions, that'd be, that'd be top notch, yeah. Lefty deserves this because he misses his friends, he misses the camaraderie, and it's a chance to say, Lefty, we're still here. I wrote to Holly at Surprise Surprise because he's an amazing dad, an amazing granddad, he's loyal, devoted to his family, and anybody who signs up for the army or any military is a hero. But my dad, you know, he's my hero. Well, 
not only some really emotional memories. Absolutely. Yeah. I haven't seen them guys in over 30, 30 years. Some familiar faces yeah. there. They're such good friends. Because soldiers have this really close bond, don't they? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Try, for anybody that's never felt that or experienced that, what's that like? You can't describe it. It's, it's, I, I, I think it's knowing that you, you've all got the same aim, you've all got the same temperament mm. and, and outlook that you would give your life for each other. And to know that, it, it, of course, there's going to be a bond there. Vicky, your dad's army career meant absolutely everything to him, didn't it? <laughs> yes, definitely. Everything was all about the army for my dad. And, you know, it was a place that he belonged, so he was devastated when he had to leave. And when was the last time he saw his comrades? Not really, since he left in 1979. Most of them went their separate ways and lost touch. Um, but they do have reunions each year. But, you know, my dad doesn't go because his medal got stolen. And, you know, doesn't like to go... Oh, I feel I've let myself down and then down by losing it. Do you really? Mm. That medal literally is your badge of honour, mm. isn't it? Yes, yeah. Well, you were an incredible hero on one night in particular. And we saw you there that you rescued that baby. What were your memories of that night? Oh, I thought he was actually lying on a field. But then I noticed he was going sinking and sinking. Oh, God, I can't imagine. And what I just, I went to jump, well, I went to go to him because I didn't know he was on a bog. I didn't know. But it didn't matter. I still jumped in anyhow and I just lifted him above my head. You risked your own life doing that. Yeah, well, as I said, I saw him go and he was slowly going down. I, I knew it wouldn't be long until he, he completely go, go under. Well, you were a local hero at the time, mm. but do you ever wonder what happened to that baby? All the time. Do you? All the time. And I just hope that he, he's had a good life. How old would he be now? I don't know. I'm not good at maths. <laughs> well, do you know what? I can tell you. He's about 40 now, and his name is Philip, Philip. Mallon. Yeah. And he thinks about you too. Philip couldn't be here tonight, but he did want me to give you this message. It's a letter for you, and right. if you wouldn't mind, would you read it out to us, please? <clears throat> Dear Mervyn, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your actions on that particular day in 1975. Naturally, I have no recollection of my little adventure, but a few years later, my parents recalled to me the events of how I was found. My mum and dad even kept a scrapbook of the news cuttings to show me when I was older. So I've always grown up knowing about you. To this day, my parents and I are very grateful for your action as you risked your life to save mine. Without you, I wouldn't be here today, so thank you. I hope you're keeping in good health and wish you all the best. Yours sincerely, Philip Mallon. Thank you. Well, Mervyn may have left the army 34 years ago, but it's clear he's still a hero to Philip and his friends and family. And there's someone else who wants to reward him for his service. Please welcome Jackie Collier. Welcome, welcome to Surprise, Surprise. Um, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Uh, first of all, tell everybody what you do. I work at the um, Ministry of Defence Middle Office in Gloucester. Oh, wow. And you've got something very important for Mervyn, haven't you? We have, that's right, Holly. When we heard about Mervyn having his medal stolen and how this affected him, we wanted to help. Well, Mervyn, you might want to stand up for this. So, Mervyn... I'm honoured to present you tonight with your replacement General Service Medal in recognition of your time in Northern Ireland. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. How does that feel to look down and see that? Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. I, I'm done. Senator for me. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually one more thing, isn't there? There is. I would also like to award you with your veterans badge in recognition of your service and for your contribution to society oh, as a lovely. UK Armed Forces veteran. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you can take that with me. Yeah. Thank you so much. Take a seat from me. Thank you. Well, you never thought that you'd get your medal back Nine and now years. you're wearing it. Yes. Now, this means the world to me now. Thank you. 
That's your medal, yeah. rightfully restored. Yeah. Lovely. So does that mean that you'll be going to your regiment reunion with honour now? Yes, most definitely. Can't stop me. Good. Vicky, when's the next reunion? Uh, there's actually one later on this year. Is there yeah. now? Well, do you know what? Surprise, surprise, because you don't have to wait at all. Please welcome Mervyn's closest friends from 34 years ago, the boys of the 2nd Royal Tank Regiment. Come on, speak. British Legion Band and the Court of Drums Bronte. So, Mervyn, after all those missed reunions, how does it finally feel to be sat here with everyone once I again? I can't believe it. I just <laughs> unbelievable. And he hasn't changed a bit. Has he not? <laughs> no. 34 years, must be more. Got to be. Has it? Unbelievable. And everybody else as well. And, Paul, you served with him, I mean, years and years and years ago, but you were very, very close, weren't you? Yeah, we were. We used to knock about a lot together all the time. Um, we'd uh, sit and chat three o'clock in the morning about anything and everything. Really? It's a bit of a bond, family bond, and it's quite emotional to see him. Yeah, I bet it, it is. is. It, after all this time. Vicky, what does this feel like for you? Because this is what you hoped tonight would yeah. be. This is going to make such a difference for him. You know, it's, it's, it's going to change him. You know, you give him something back that he thought he'd lost forever. You know, we're really proud. Yeah, yeah, you should be. Well, it's clear that this means so much to you and you boys have got a lot of catching up to do, so I won't keep you a moment longer. A huge round of applause, please, for the former members of the 2nd World Tank Regiment, Jackie, Vicky and, of course, to Mervyn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's it for tonight. Thanks to Mark Wright, to Little Mix, and to all my surprise guests. If you know someone who deserves to be here, just log on to itv.com for a fresh surprise and more details. Join me next time, and you never know, it might just be you. Good night.